TCC is back, and I'm back from my Virginia vacation, kind of getting into the swing of things here once again, but we're not going to waste too much time. we got Tombstone news to talk about here. It's a little bit of old news now. I'm sure a lot of fans have heard this already, but it's time to talk about everything we know about Team Hardcore Robotics skipping the 2022 BattleBots season. That's right. No Tombstone this season. We're going to have to see how that plays out next here at TCC. Welcome to the Combat Collective. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another news episode of the Combat Collective, bringing you everything you want to know from the world of robot combat, from the heavyweight class to the fleetweight class, from BattleBots to the live circuit. And I'm finally back to Virginia, but not with good news. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard, but as unfortunately, we do have some sad news today, as we say so long, but not goodbye, thankfully, to one hardcore robotics for now. This, of course, is the team behind Tombstone, the robot who is arguably the face of BattleBots, and a robot which has yet to miss a reboot championship. Until this month, that is, unfortunately. Yes, as we discussed in our TCC news video in late June, it's been quite a tumultuous year for Hardcore Robotics, who, after just crawling into the 2021 playoffs, would then lose in the round of 32, missing the top 16 for the very first time in Team Hardcore Robotics' career. Things would keep spiraling downward too after this, as with the departure of Crew Chief Rick Russ, who was going to work on his own team, and then later on after BattleBots 2021, Ray Billings would seriously injure his hand during a sawing incident, something which ended up being a bit more serious than the team was initially hoping for. Our understanding at the time with this news was that Tombstone would be at the 2022 World Championships with Justin Billings behind the wheel for the foreseeable future. Well, come just a couple days later, we would see Justin Billings once again behind the wheel of Tombstone during the 2022 Remars All-Stars event. One where Tombstone would draw the Red Hot Hypershock in the first round and a match where, like we said then, any other year this could have been Tombstone's fight. But this time things were different and it was shown when Tombstone ended up losing fairly quickly by KO in the first round of that Remars All-Stars tournament. That was the last time we would see the King of Kinetic Energy and from what it says here on Rave Billings Facebook page during the 11th of September, let me quote here. I've been public about my hand injury but haven't really gone into too many details or specifics, but the damage to my hand was fairly significant. I just completed my third surgery on the 8th with a strong possibility of one more before it's all said and done. This surgery was successful and I can move the index finger again for the first time in almost a year in fact, but I'll be starting physical therapy soon and although it will most likely never be quite right, I should gain enough function that it doesn't limit me in the future. I am fairly confident in that. The problem for me though was scheduling for filming this year's BattleBots season. Unfortunately, there weren't a lot of options for when they could film and when I could get the surgery done. And for right now, I have to focus on healing and not risk further injuries trying to push it for now. It's certainly disappointing to the team and I'm sure disappointing to the fans as well, but Tombstone and Perfect Phoenix will not be a part of the upcoming BattleBots season. I will almost certainly go hang out and be there for parts of it. I might even make it on camera at some point. So if you go, you might see me there. And if you're interested, you should go watch. Seeing this live is incredibly more engaging than on video. And tickets will go on sale tomorrow. Or it's been on sale for a while if you're watching this. And yes, I typed all of this with one hand. So if I don't respond to a lot of comments on social media, you know why. So that's what he said. The good news though with this posting is that Ray Billings is still in lovely spirits, as we always expect from him, and will likely still be in attendance for BattleBots 2022 behind the scenes and hopefully some on-screen segments speckled in with a healing hand. We have heard Greg Munson talk about having some Super Bowl style analysts come in uh, talking about who they think is going to win, what fights are going to go which certain ways during the tournament. I think this is definitely going to be the thing that we can see Ray Billings do. Um, in this season, so hopefully we will get a little bit of screen time for the King of Kinetic Energy himself. 
But the bad news is these are unprecedented times. You know, we've talked plenty this year about robots like Duck, Deep Six, Pain Train, Fusion, among many others not being present for the 2022 BattleBots season. And while all those robots are gone for good, it's still a complete and utter shock to say this. We won't be seeing hardcore robotics at the 2022 BattleBots season. And as Ray Billing stated in that Facebook post, this does not only affect the face of Team Hardcore Robotics and Tombstone, but also the prodigy of the sport, Tyler Negan and his robot Perfect Phoenix as well. A robot which we saw go 1-1 one -one this year with its appearance a couple of weeks ago, winning over Sub-Zero and then taking a brutal knockout defeat to Black Dragon, shooting way up into the air in what was an insane fight. It is seriously disappointing, but we were wondering what was going to be next for Hardcore Robotics during that June video, and uh, they seem to be at a crossroads, and I do believe perhaps hitting reset on a year, sitting back and watching a season of BattleBots firsthand, and taking an extended period to potentially make Tombstone even more reliable, even more powerful, and perhaps even better driven and better controlled after a very frustrating 2-4 2022. But fear not, Hardcore Robotics fans. In closing on this video, one thing that we do know is that we will see Ray Billings in less than a year's time at RoboGames 2022. In our very recent 60 to 250 pound RoboGames preview, we discussed Stink Eye, the Team Hardcore Robotics' newest heavyweight, which we officially now know, thanks to Reddit, will be the theorized vertical spinner that Ray Billings has been teasing for years now. We don't know if it's going to be a four-wheel drive vertical spinner or a two-wheel drive vertical spinner, but we do know it's going to be at the Alameda County Fairgrounds this April, and it's going to be coming to fight some of those sports best, like Malice, Jackpot, Gigabyte, and maybe even the rival Swamp Thing from Rick Russ, the former crew chief, under the name Piranha. He said that he's not going to be at Robo Games this year due to a similar injury. The dude got hit by an 18-wheeler. Who gets hit by an 18-wheeler? That's insane. That dude's a tank. But yes, Piranha will be at 2023's RoboGames event, and so will Jetlag apparently, the jet engine undercutter that we talked about on our social media page. Maybe we can see Stink Eye fight one of these two robots, that would be a very exciting matchup to see. But that's going to wrap it up here at the Combot Collective, that is our Ray Billings Tombstone news for the month. And uh, of course, it's the king of kinetic energy, we love that robot and we wish the best for that team going into this. It was very unfortunate to see how Tombstone ended up doing during that tournament of champions. They just did not have it against the 2021 defending champion Tantrum. They're now 1-1. One one. Maybe we'll see that rubber match in 2023, but for now, that's what we know about Tombstone. Of course, we wish a speedy recovery to Ray Billings, and we cannot wait to see what presentation he does end up having in the 2022 BattleBots Championship. He's going to have some words of wisdom, plenty of funny banter. You know how Ray Billings is. But that's going to wrap it up for us here at the Combot Collective. We're taking baby steps. I just got back from this trip, so recording this right now is a little bit, whoa, this is a bit trippy. But I digress. I have written down the scripts for quite a few videos that's going to be posted up on the TCC channel as we play a little bit of catch up here. I got to put some series to the wayside like After the Havoc. I know there was a recent Norwalk Havoc event that I uh, haven't even had the chance to look at yet, so... A lot of catch up here for me, but hopefully you guys stick around for all the exciting videos coming up here at the Combot Collective. I am your host as always, Sterling Brown. You can find me on Instagram at SterlingTXTG. And in terms of the Combot Collective, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook in the description below. Please follow those. You can join our Discord channel. That's where all of our video upload news goes down first. And on YouTube, please give us a like, comment, subscription, ring the bell icon, give us your feedback, give us your positive comments and your constructive criticism. We're making TCC better every day. It's a new season of TCC here. I've officially had the studio for a year now. So we're going to have to see what happens. Keep an eye out for great videos. But for now, we will see you next time here at the Combat Collective. This was the Combat Collective. I'm the hardest hard ram and this color.